What's up, Cereal Heads? Today we're gonna to talk about brand new SpongeBob cereal from Kellogg's. This will be the third SpongeBob cereal ever released, and this one is a tie-in to the new SpongeBob movie, Sponge on the Run, that was initially due to hit theaters in May, but now, well, who knows? I got no idea when new movies will come out or when we'll be able to go see movies in theaters again. It's all up in the air. But at least we got cereal time so we can talk about cereals all day, every day. Now I'm not gonna spend this video explaining who SpongeBob is or talking about the cartoon. I assume you already know all that. You're probably already familiar with SpongeBob and all of his friends, and if you aren't, well, you can go watch my previous SpongeBob cereal video for an explainer, but come on, you know who he is. However, I will go back and discuss the two previous cereals briefly. Let's work backwards. We'll start in 2014 when I first started making Serial Time videos. Wow, I can't believe I've been doing this for six years now. So in 2014, General Mills released SpongeBob SquarePants Fruity Splash Cereal. I guess technically this one wasn't a movie tie-in cereal, though the second SpongeBob movie, Sponge Out of Water, did come out February of that year, so General Mills was definitely riding the popularity of that film. Now this cereal was a crunchy corn-based cereal shaped like little square sponges and pink starfish. It had a fruity taste to it. You can go back and watch my video about it if you wanna know more. The cereal was kind of underwhelming. I did appreciate the trivia game on the back, but overall, it was kind of forgettable. All right, let's jump back another decade to the first SpongeBob cereal released. This one was just called SpongeBob SquarePants Cereal, and it was released by Kellogg's in 2003. This one was definitely a promotional tie-in to the first SpongeBob movie that came out in 2004. They promoted that movie really hard with many SpongeBob products, including a bunch you can see on the side here. They had SpongeBob Cheez-It, SpongeBob Pop-Tarts, and SpongeBob Eggo Waffles, just to name a few. Now you could also open this panel on the front of the box here and reveal one of four designs, along with some other SpongeBob games. Again, you can watch my previous Spongebob cereal video if you want to see the inside of this box and know more about it. Uh, I taped this one closed because it kept popping open on my cereal wall. But basically this Kellogg's Spongebob cereal from 2003 is the prequel to the new 2020 Spongebob cereal. They share the same birth parents, if you will. So you can see on the front of the box what this cereal looked like. It consisted of crunchy corn puff jellyfish shaped pieces mixed with three special marshmallows, Spongebob, Patrick, and a pineapple. Here's a commercial for this cereal from 2004. Introducing new SpongeBob SquarePants cereal. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> go, SpongeBob, go! I'm flying, Patrick! It's the nautical hijinks of Bikini Bottom in your cereal bowl. New SpongeBob SquarePants cereal. What? With SpongeBob, Patrick, and Pineapple Marshmallows, it's part of a complete breakfast. And look for these other great SpongeBob products. SpongeBob! So I really liked this cereal, and I was excited to see that Kellogg's was leading the charge on this new 2020 SpongeBob cereal. I thought we might get a reboot of this classic one, but that's not really what happened. Sure, it's definitely got some similarities to that classic 2004 SpongeBob cereal. You can see the SpongeBob Marbit, the Patrick Marbit, and the Pineapple Marbit right there on the front, but upon closer inspection, you can see that the jellyfish pieces are no more. Instead, in their place are the little oat square shapes that we've seen Kellogg's repurpose a handful of times for a handful of different movie cereals. Those square shaped pieces first started back in GIF cereal, but then they continue to pop up in cereals like Avengers, Finding Dory, Despicable Me, Captain America, Frozen, and I'm sure some others that I'm forgetting. Sometimes they don't even use the square shaped oat pieces, just the regular Cheerio ones. But at the end of the day, it's the same concept. These dense, underwhelming oat pieces accompanied with special unique marbits and it's supposed to be enough to get kids excited because they see their favorite movie characters on the front of the box. And this SpongeBob cereal is no different. Now sure, it says on the front here that it's a vanilla flavored cereal, but I'm sure it's very lightly flavored. And here you can take a look at the ingredients on the side of the box. You can see it says it contains less than 2% of natural artificial flavors, so that's where the vanilla flavor comes from. But you'll also notice it says contains milk, which is not great to hear from my fellow lactose intolerant friends. Kellogg's has included milk in some of their cereal ingredients over the last few years, and I'm not sure what it even adds. I mean, Kellogg's oat pieces are inferior to General Mills, just seems like such an odd, unnecessary ingredient. Anyway, the box has two sides to it, one here with SpongeBob, and then on the other side, you have Patrick Starfish, so you can choose which one you wanna look at while you're eating a bowl of this stuff. Personally, I would've preferred some games on the back of the box, but whatever. On the side of the box, you have Squidward and Sandy. No fun promotions or games, Clearly this thing was just a cash grab for Kellogg's. All right, let's open it up and give it a try. So here's what a bowl of SpongeBob SquarePants cereal from 2020 looks like. You can see the oh so familiar oat pieces and the three marbits there. You got SpongeBob, Patrick, and the pineapple, which is SpongeBob's home. Let's hit him with some milk and give him a try. Yep, it's 
It's pretty underwhelming and lame. It's kind of bland. There's not much vanilla flavor there at all. It's really just what you expect from this cereal. I think you'd be hard pressed to tell the difference between this cereal and one of Kellogg's half dozen other movie cereals. The oat pieces are dense and they lack that crunchy, fluffy texture of Lucky Charms oat pieces. Even the Marbits are a little underwhelming. They don't have that crisp crunch like General Mills Marbits. If you want a sweetened oat cereal with marshmallows, I still don't know why you'd pick anything other than Lucky Charms. It's still the best option out there. I guess if you absolutely love SpongeBob SquarePants and you want to add this box to your collection, then go nuts. Otherwise, this cereal is pretty skippable. I kind of wish Quaker would pair with Nickelodeon to make a SpongeBob cereal. The Cap'n Crunch pieces seem like natural fits for little mini SpongeBobs. And then you could add these SpongeBob themed marshmallows to Cap'n Crunch. I'm pretty sure they've never made a Cap'n Crunch cereal that uses the classic Cap'n Crunch pieces and added marshmallows to the mix. Yes, they've had Galactic Crunch, but those pieces were more like Quisp shaped pieces. And there was Home Run Crunch back in the day, but those were shaped like bats and balls and didn't have the same great Cap'n Crunch taste. Yeah, I don't think Cap'n Crunch has ever added marshmallows smells their classic Cap'n Crunch cereal. Hold on, why don't we do that right now? I'll be right back, I'm gonna go grab some Cap'n Crunch. All right, so now I got a bowl of Cap'n Crunch. Look at that, those look like little perfect SpongeBob shapes. And now I'm just gonna pick out the SpongeBob marshmallows from the new SpongeBob cereal. Patrick, there's another Patrick, there's a pineapple. You add them to this bowl of Cap'n Crunch and voila, you have a perfect SpongeBob SquarePants cereal. There we go, look at that. This is what a legit SpongeBob cereal looks like. You got mini SpongeBob's and then the three themed marshmallows. Tell me this doesn't look like a much superior SpongeBob cereal. Like you don't want to try a bowl of this stuff. Well, I'm definitely going to try a bowl of it. Oh my God, that's amazing. I think I just created one of the best cereals ever. Seriously, Quaker, you need to get on this ASAP. Just take your classic Cap'n Crunch cereal and add some marshmallows to it. You have an instant winner. All right, well, that's definitely the end of this video because I'm gonna go finish this bowl of cereal. As always, thank you for watching, and until next time, stay crunchy. You should all be very proud of yourself. We just witnessed a magical moment in cereal history.